Greetings and welcome to XCOM 2. I just couldn't wait to get this game. I don't normally buy games on day one, as in the day the game comes out, but I've been playing XCOM for quite a while, and I saw some gameplay from Gopher and Jamal and Total, Bri Total Biscuit, the cynical Brit, so I knew from watching them play that this was definitely worth picking up. It is an improvement in so many ways from the first one. And I don't mean like the first one as in the original, but the first one that came out in 2012, I think. I think it came out in 2012. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is specifically related to the options menu. First of all, I've heard from various sources that SLI is not great with this game. So if you have multiple graphics cards in your system and you utilize SLI, uh, it's not going to work so great with this game, unfortunately, as is the case for many games. SLI is just not a big thing for a lot of people, I guess. Or maybe it's just not a big enough deal for developers to start developing for the use of SLI, but whatever the case, unfortunately SLI is not a great thing with a lot of games. It will drop your FPS, I believe. Um, here's the options menu anyway. Here's the audio settings. The music is wonderful, but it's a little overbearing, so I turned it down a little bit. Here's the video options. I enabled frame rate smoothing. I don't know exactly what that does, but hopefully it keeps the frame rate smooth, I guess. Um, I don't know if V-Sync's worth turning on or off because it seems to lock the frame rate anyway like right now for example it's it seems to be a solid 58 fps it's it was at 60 a moment ago i don't know i don't know why it dropped with you but whatever um i was told that it drops to 30 fps during cinematic moments I don't know why they always seem to think that for cinematics it has to be at 30. I guess in this day and age, not everyone has a decent monitor that can have a refresh rate of 60. I think that kind of should be standard by now, but whatever. Here's the graphics menu. I turned the MSAA down to 2x just so that I could get a solid 60 FPS. I turned the ambient occlusion down to tile AO, which I think means it only does the ambient occlusion on the ground. In any case, it gave me a huge FPS boost, so changing these two settings might help. A great deal in giving you good performance. Everything else you can pretty much leave on maximum or high settings. I turned off depth of field just because I don't think depth of field is really necessary in a strategy game like this. I feel like depth of field is more of a an issue with first person games but correct me if I'm wrong this is not an FPS game so I just don't see the point of depth of field I left all these on I don't exactly know what a lot of these do I'm guessing dirty lens might I don't know make your 
camera get dirty or something if aliens kick up dirt or whatever or an explosion happens I don't know that, that's just guessing on my part anyway that's all with the graphics the gameplay settings uh, I'm just gonna leave all that on although the, it is worth noting that the action cam can have kind of bugs and glitches every now and then like when you make a move your character will hop over a fence or whatever and it'll look really silly or you might take a shot on an enemy and instead of turning one way to shoot the enemy your character does a 360 or something there, there's just certain glitches that happen with the action cam but it's not gonna affect your gameplay it's not gonna mess up hitting the enemy or whatever everything still should play fine other than the aesthetics of it all you can find your key bindings here you can pretty much set whatever you want to whatever key you want on the keyboard which is great for me because I'm disabled and so it makes it so much easier on me to be able to set up my keyboard in a way that really is useful for me personally um, I always turn subtitles on it's a great practice to pick up if you make videos or whatever like me um, you turn the the scroll speed down a lot because it is super sensitive the camera will like fly all over the place so yeah that's about it that's all there is to say from what I've seen so far it's an excellent game so many improvements I love how they simplified the the base building system it, you don't have to worry about buildings connecting to each other and stuff I always I, I didn't really like that about the first game it added too much thinking and another big thing I love about this game is the the movement um, being in stealth mode at the start of most missions I think is just that's wonderful I always hated creeping around in the first XCOM just kinda stumbling into enemies I always thought that was kinda stupid it, it wasn't until like later on in the first game where you could get like the ghost ability and kinda stealth your way around but only with like a sniper or, or maybe it was just a suit of armor that had to stealth mode anyway you couldn't really do that until much later in the game but in this game you can just kind of sneak around until you're ready to pop out and let out an ambush or whatever with everybody in overwatch and then take a shot on the enemy the enemy notices you're there they start running around and as they run around all your guys that are in overwatch start shooting the hell out of the enemy it's just so wonderful how you can set up these ambushes and such I cannot wait to play this game I'm so excited so this was just a video